Push! 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 Push harder! Uh, it's coming! It's coming! Uh, congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's the demo. The power of the dark side, 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 side. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. My name is Psychosis169 and if you are interested in FIFA 18, you better stick around. I'll be tracking you through the demo today, so let's get going. Just before we start the demo, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button down below. Um, it would mean the world to me. By doing that, you will be feeding a hungry African child. I am African and my children are mostly hungry. Dad, I'm hungry. Okay, so now that you've seen how hungry my child is, let's get, go let's get going. Let's get into the FIFA demo. Okay, cool. So we can see Ronaldo is the cover star for FIFA 18 and the highest rated FIFA player for FIFA 18, um, besides all the legends, obviously. Uh, FIFA 18, the startup screens look quite similar to FIFA 17, even the little loading icon, the 18 um, that fades out and fades in every time. Uh, FIFA 17 had a similar feature. We can see it's still the, uh, they're still advertising it as a frostbite engine. So there we go, Ronaldo, superstar, highest rated player in the FIFA 18. Let's check the demo out. So uh, I've played the demo quite a few times already and, and it, it's kind of irritating that you every time you have to accept this user agreement. So every time you start up the demo, the user agreement pops up. I'm not sure why I just can't save your settings. And I also don't understand why I have to sign in if I can't play online on the demo. Okay, so on this screen, we can see that they are promoting all their new features. The world's game fueled by the world's best. So they're saying it's powered by the Frostbite engine and FIFA 18 blurs the line between virtual and real worlds, bringing to life the players' teams and atmospheres that immerse you in the emotion of the world's game. And uh, then there's a new crossing control, create more dynamic attacking chances with all new crossing mechanics that gives the player a variety of whipped, arched and ping deliveries from the wing. I have noticed when I played previously that the crossing dynamic is different. Um, actually, the entire shooting and finishing dynamic is different. Uh, it brings a cross an easier way to score. It seems like 90% of the shots you take would be a goal. Um, the keepers kind of seem, seem non-existent or they just set to a very non-existent uh, difficulty setting. Okay, then they're promoting the real player motion technology and the dribbling overall. This just seems like a uh, FIFA 17 packaged in a FIFA 18 cover. Uh, every year it's the same thing as the real player motion technology dribbling overall. I'm surprised that they're not advertising that they've got new emotions for the players. <laughs> That's uh, every year thing as well. Okay, cool. So here they're showing us new in FIFA Ultimate Team. It's introducing FUT icons. These will be replacing the legends that we've seen in previous FIFAs on Xbox only, but now they are coming to PS4. This is super exciting news. This is most probably the biggest news that we've seen in FIFA this year, that icons will be coming to both platforms. To me, it's just another player that I will never pack. Well, then there's also more, they, they also say there's more ways to play, you can build your FIFA Ultimate Team, the most popular mode in FIFA, and the mode that makes the most money for EA. Okay, let's get going, and here they're prompting us to buy FIFA 18. I've already pre-ordered the Icon Edition, so I, I checked last night and there was about 10 days left before it's playable. So the clock is ticking down and I can't wait. I'm sure you can't wait either. Well, as you guys can see, uh, the ease, these are the two modes that are available in the demo. It is kickoff mode, normal kickoff mode, and then a short section of the journey. Um, if you guys have played FIFA 17, you know the story of Alex Hunter. This story just continues from where Alex Hunter has left off. Um, I've played this bit of the journey on the demo. I wasn't really impressed. It doesn't give us much. There's like uh, 
a little cutscene. You play about a second half in a Chelsea match and uh, you make about one decision. Um, that's obviously not really impacting anything, but it just gives you a small taste of what the journey is about. I wasn't really impressed. I'm sure they could have given us a bit more, but that's just me. So let's get into kickoff. Okay, so here are the teams that you can play with. Uh, I'm just going to run through them. Uh, we've got Madrid, Toronto, Vissel Kobe, uh, Atletico Madrid, uh, Bayern, uh, Boca Juniors, Chelsea. Uh, I do not, I'm not <laughs> even going to attempt to pronounce that name. Uh, Juve, LA Galaxy, Man City, Man United, Paris Saint Germain, and yeah, that's it. Uh, who do we choose? Let's see, because Ronaldo's on the cover, that's the only reason I'm choosing Ronaldo. I know I'm wearing a Barcelona top, not to dominate the game or anything, or that I'm bad at FIFA or anything. Okay, let's go with it and let's choose a randomized opponent. So, don't judge me. I'm pressing the square button, as you can see, square, and we're playing LA Galaxy. Okay, so I kind of skipped the part where they show you the new um, quick subs, but in the game they assign you some automatic quick substitutions and I will show you once the ball goes out of play at uh, perhaps in the second half and show you how the quick sub uh, substitutions actually work. They've got some mini games just before the game starts, so um, I'm not sure why they didn't put these mini games into the demo as a mode where you could actually select some mini games and just get the feel for the game a bit more because i saw they do have quite a few of these mini games okay boys here we go real madrid versus la galaxy i am going to get thrashed martin tyler and alan smith still the same commentary pair i've listened to a few of their commentary in the demo thus far and it seems that they haven't changed much since the last FIFA. Well, you can see the Bernabeu. This is the only stadium that they have in the demo currently. It's the Bernabeu, uh, Real Madrid Stadium. And the, graphic, the graphics look quite good. Uh, if you saw my video that I reviewed uh, Pro Evolution, um, I think the cutscene graphics looks good. Okay, we can see Ronaldo there. Ronaldo is looking great. So something looks a bit offish. I don't know, or maybe it's just a bit scary or freaky the way he blinks, like... Oh, so the rest of the players don't look too bad. I, I'm not sure, I, I kind of feel Pro Evo has a, has a bit of an edge on the graphics when it comes to, to players, uh, or how the players look. And there we can see the manager, the man, the myth, the legend, Zinedine Zidane. Okay, so as you can see, there is the, a one-man kickoff in FIFA now as well. And uh, that's absolutely fantastic. It's copying real life. But apparently, I've heard that uh, that you could actually get the old two-man. Oh, Benzema. Tap in. There we go. Get in, son. Cristiano Ronaldo. And, uh, oh, snap. Look at that, look at that pose. Uh, like I was saying, you can actually get the uh, two-man kickoff. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a glitch or they're going to patch it by pressing the Alt-2 button on PlayStation. Um, I'll actually try it if I do get another another kickoff. Uh, oh my word. I don't even know what, what difficulty setting it's on. Ooh. Ooh, Ronaldo! Ronaldo! What a goal! I think this might be on beginner. I'm, I'm just running through the team so easily. I, I, I didn't even check the, the difficulty before I started. Like I said, it, it, it seems like the shooting uh, feels a bit skewed. I'm not sure if it's a, a, a marketing ploy from EA to get more people to buy the game. Because obviously if you're winning, you would, uh, you would be more inclined. Like I was saying, if you're winning, you would be more inclined to buy the game because obviously winning feels great and who wouldn't want to win in a football game? So I, I don't know, I, I just feel that that was a bit OP. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a few weird things now. I'm 3-0 up, I'm just going to try to do a few weird stuff from where I could score, what type of goals I could score. So that just seemed way too easy. Also what I've noticed is that when you do run with the ball, it feels that the player knocks the ball forward. Like I, like I said in Pro Evo, the player knocks the ball forward. When you when you're running, it's like you you you're pushing the R stick. 
Oh, the Kiko was there. It's like you're uh, pushing the R stick forward. Um, and yeah, I, I think it is more realistic. Obviously, if you're running with the ball, you don't have full control like if you are going a bit slower. Okay, I kind of feel bad for when playing, playing with Real Madrid against LA Galaxy now. Uh, Ronaldo, Ronaldo! Ooh, top corner! Okay. Okay. Maybe I should let him score and uh, and then try the... Let me score. Come on, I want to score own goal. And Marcelo couldn't score. I, I can't score an own goal. It's like, okay, let's put the ball down and. Yes! Own oh, goal! So let's try this, see if we can do the two man kickoff. And look at that, Gareth Bale just runs up. And now it's a two man kickoff. This is strange. I don't, I'm not sure if it's a glitch or it's a. Okay, boys, so it's half time. Um, the game feels quite good. Uh, I'm not sure if the shooting is going to be as overpowered as it is in the demo. Well, I've also played with some other teams. I've played with uh, Juventus and the Bala and Higuain feels absolutely insane. They are super overpowered and it doesn't seem like a, stri a striker needs much pace anymore. Um, it, it feels to me like attacking positioning is a bit more important in this FIFA than uh, in previous FIFAs. Because Higuain is now a higher, he's a high rated card and usually nobody or very few people would use him in a FIFA Ultimate Team. But I think in this FIFA Higuain will actually be somebody that everyone or a lot of people could look to to help them out in the striking position. Pin Mr. Ref! Pin! Come on! Send him off! Send him off! What, what else is there to do? What? Not, not, not even the card! Look at that! Tackle from behind! Blatant! Blatant! Absolutely blatant! Come on Mr. Ref! So boys, here we can see the new uh, penalty uh, kick uh, controls. Adjust your starting position left, right to the right stick. So you can still move your player with the right stick um, to change the angle of your kick, kick. So you aim your shot to the left stick and power to control the power height of your shot. So you can now use L2 or R2 to adjust the approach speed. So let's try that. So as you can see previously, you could uh, you could use the L stick when you move it forward. A player would actually start running forward, but here you can when you push the stick forward. As you can see, I'm pushing the stick forward. Uh, just the arrow comes up. So let's do this. Oh, go Ronaldo! So I pressed the R2 button on my run up. I think that was a bit of a quicker run up than usual. When it comes to defending, um, in FIFA 17 you could essentially just leave your controls and the AI would do defending for you. Uh, in FIFA 18, I'm actually glad that they took that away. Um, now you actually have to do your own defending for, for once. And uh, I think a lot of people are going to be in trouble when it comes to defending. Um, that they won't actually be able to rely on the AI to, uh, to make it happen for them. Okay, so you guys can see the R button comes up at the bottom there. And uh, then you can press X and it will do a quick substitution. So I pressed X and now comes the control command for Casimiro. You can see the substitution is actually happening. I did not pause the game. It was just super quick. This will save a lot of time, especially when it comes to champs windows. When you want to pause and try and restructure and change things. You can actually set your um, pre-selected substitutions in the menu and uh, then it will definitely save you time while playing your, hopefully not 40 games, but most probably at this point it will be 40 games that everyone will still play for FET champs. So okay, I think I've showed you everything so we can just skip to the end of the match and for my summary. Okay guys, so that's the end of the match. My summary is... The passing feels much smoother, it feels much better than FIFA 17. The finishing seems quite easy, it seems like you can score from outside the box, finesse, shots, headers, um, the crosses, mostly it seems to find the attacker. And uh, the goalkeepers seem kind of non-existent in the game, they 
not doing much. I'm not sure, maybe it's just like on an easier setting, but definitely the goalkeepers are technically useless in the demo. Defending, you will have to defend for yourself. The AI does very little defending. They kind of position themselves okay, but you as the player will still have to defend quite hard so guys there you have it i am very very excited for fifa 18 i can't wait for the game i'm sure you can't either if you want to see more fifa 18 videos please subscribe to my channel there are 10 days left before fifa 18 comes out and then we can go through it so guys thank you for watching my name is psychosis169 please hit that subscribe that button down below and like this video if you liked it so i will see you guys next time Cheers, peace out, stay psyched.